It is 8 a.m. Thursday, the 12th of March in Vanuatu, and severe tropical cyclone PAM continues to intensify. The latest maximum one-minute sustained winds have increased to 115 knots. This translates to a 10-minute sustained average of about 100 to 105 knots. Cyclone PAM is well on its way to becoming a Category 5 as it moves toward the south or south-southwest in the general direction of central and southern Vanuatu. As alluded to in the previous video, we felt as though the official forecasts from the U.S. Joint Typhoon Warning Center and the Fiji Meteorological Services would have to be shifted farther westward, and that is in fact what we have seen with the latest advisories. As you can see here, the JTWC is now showing a direct hit from a Category 5 cyclone. As the eye and associated eye wall pass through the islands, maximum one-minute sustained winds are forecast to be 145 knots and that translates to about 125 to 130 knots based on the 10 minute average. Fiji has also made the right decision to increase their intensity forecast. They are now forecasting a peak intensity of category 5 status and the track has also been nudged toward the west. It's not quite as far west as what you just saw with the JTWC track but if anything based on the latest GFS and European model solutions they are now in full agreement with a direct hit so Fiji more than likely will have to continue making adjustments toward the west in their coming advisory. The first morning visible satellite image glimpse of tropical cyclone PAM reveals that the storm is well on its way to becoming a textbook severe cyclone. The storm is continuing to show signs of organization. The eye is steadily become increasingly more apparent over the last 36 hours, still surrounded by a very strong central dense overcast with cloud tops occasionally exceeding negative 100 degrees Celsius. And as we turn on the enhanced rainbow infrared, the eye is starting to contract, the inner core is starting to shrink a little bit, and that is going to more than likely lead to more in the way of moderate to occasionally rapid intensification to Category 5 status. Some of the southernmost outer bands of PAM are already impacting Vanuatu. There are occasionally squally conditions in the form of showers, thunderstorms, and gusty winds, followed up by periods of partly cloudy or even sunny skies. But weather will rapidly deteriorate late tonight, and there's going to be no turning back from that point on. As you can see, this is the GFS model run valid for midnight local time, late tonight into early tomorrow. And this is going to be when the eye is starting to move into the picture. There's already potentially severe cyclone force winds coming out of the south and southwest across some of these islands. And as the storm continues to move south or south-southwest, this is going to set up the worst case scenario for Port Vila with the eye wall passing directly over them. And you're looking at the potential for catastrophic damage in this area, not only due to the extreme winds, but also along the coast where there could be life-threatening storm surge as well. This image is valid for 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. This is when the worst of the conditions may be felt across this region. However, as I alluded to a moment ago, some of the squally conditions are already moving in and you're going to want to finalize your preparations for this storm by midday or early this afternoon at the latest. I also want to point out that if you happen to be caught in the eye of the storm, you may receive a temporary lull in the winds. The sun may even peak out for about 5 to 15 minutes. But do not be fooled, the backside of the storm will be quickly closing in on your location and winds even within just 30 seconds to a minute can abruptly increase from almost virtually nothing back to severe category 5 intensity. So when the eye passes, if it were to do so over your location, do not venture outside, stay hunkered down throughout the duration of the storm until you are certain that the storm has completely passed. If you have any questions about this dangerous cyclone, please feel free to engage with us at facebook.com slash 28storms. We will be more than happy to answer any questions, especially if you live out there in some of the islands across the South Pacific. So go ahead and follow us at Facebook, and you can follow us for more frequent updates, including videos, at 28storms.com slash cyclone and twitter.com slash 28storms.